A Six Sigma Yellow Belt is an individual who has attained a basic knowledge of Six Sigma, but does not lead projects on their own. They are often responsible for the development of process maps to support Six Sigma projects. A Yellow Belt participates as a core team member or subject matter expert on a project or projects. In addition, Yellow Belts may often be responsible for running smaller process improvement projects using the Plan Do Check Act methodology. The PDCA is often referred to as the Deming Wheel, enables Yellow Belts to identify processes that could benefit from improvement. The smaller Yellow Belt projects often get escalated to the Green Belt or Black Belt level, where a DMAC methodology is used to maximize cost saving utilizing statistical process control. Yellow Belt certification signifies an understanding of the basic metrics and improvement methods of Six Sigma, plus the ability to integrate these tactics into an organization's production systems. Their role in the Six Sigma process is that of a core team member. Often, their focus on an area of knowledge can lead Yellow Belt to be subject matter experts with the responsibility of running smaller improvement projects Utilizing the Plan Do Check Act methodology or PDCA, Yellow Belts are responsible for identifying certain processes that need improvement. The Yellow Belt is an introductory position within Six Sigma that is often called upon to assist Green Belts and Black Belts with bigger projects. A subject matter expert is the person who possesses a deep understanding of a particular subject. The subject in question can be anything such as a job, historical information, department, function, process, piece of equipment, software, solution, material, and so much more. Subject matter experts may have collected their knowledge through intensive levels of schooling or through years of professional experience with the subject. The subject matter expert has a level of understanding regarding their subject that is not common knowledge making the person quite valuable to an organization. When it comes to a Six Sigma team, however, green belts can be considered the actual worker bees in the project. They are capable of doing much more work starting from data gathering through the execution of experiments as support to projects of black belts. They usually have two important responsibilities. One, helping and making sure that the Six Sigma techniques are carried out successfully, and two, spearheading projects for improvement in smaller scale with their own respective areas. The number of green belts in any given project will typically be more than the number of black belts, but less than the number of actual yellow belts. At the novice level of Six Sigma, the white belt provides the most basic introduction to the principles and methodologies of the program. They can work locally to solve problems and support projects, although individuals who have white belt certification sometimes are not members of the Six Sigma team. The white belt level provides a foundation for those who are deciding whether or not they plan to continue with the Six Sigma process. Every week, we upload new videos between 5 and 10 minutes in length, where we will focus on the strategic implementation of Lean and Six Sigma. As a Six Sigma expert, I am passionate about quality. And if you are too, then click subscribe to be notified whenever we upload our next Lean Six Sigma video.